السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بلوڈ مسلمس می اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی بلس یو آل این می اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی گرانٹ اس آل رائشیسنس این گڈنس ایز یو نو دا منتھ آف محرم ہیز بیگن دس از آلسو ا بلسڈ منتھ اٹس دی فرسٹ منتھ ان دا اسلامک کیلنڈر این دی تھرڈ آف دی فور سیکرڈ منتھس کرونالوجیکلی اٹس دی تھرڈ Because when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned the four sacred months, he said three that are consecutive, they follow each other, dhul qi'da, dhul hijjah, then he mentioned Muharram, and then Rajab. So it's the third of the sacred months. It's from Ashhur al-Hurum, which is translated as the sacred months. Now the sacred months are more noble, are more significant than the other months, with the exception of a few. For example, the month of Ramadan. And when we say sacred, then we need to increase in good deeds and we need to abstain from sins. Because the scholars say, the good deeds that are done during the sacred months are more rewardable by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sins that are committed during these sacred months are more intensified. The sins are counted and regarded to be greater than the sins committed in the remaining months with the exception of other blessed months like the month of Ramadan. Dear Muslims, the pious predecessors, they would say, we honor ten, three types of ten days. We honor three categories of 10 days. The last 10 nights of Ramadan, the first 10 days of the Hijjah, and the first 10 days of Muharram. This was the practice of our pious predecessors, the noble and the golden generations. What are we supposed to do in this noble month? Most importantly, as we mentioned, and as understood from our commencing words, we should increase in doing good deeds. Because it is sacred, we should increase in righteousness. And we should avoid sins. Not to say that sins in other months are justified. No, but remember, the sins committed in this month and in the sacred months and in the blessed seasons are more severe and more intensified. Dear brother, dear sister, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated from Mecca to Medina, he met the Jews and the Christians. The people of the book, Ahlul Kitab, was settled in Medina. Why did they settle in Medina? They were awaiting the advent of the final prophet that was prophesied in their books. Remember that. And the Quran speaks of that. Anyhow, fast forward. He met the Jews. And he found them to be fasting the 10th of Muharram known as Ashura. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says to them, Why do you fast on this day? And they said, This is the day Anjallahu Musa min Fir'aun. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala saved Musa from the tyranny of Fir'aun, from the oppression of Fir'aun. So he fast this day in gratitude, in appreciation. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to them, نَحْنُ أَحَقُّ بِمُوسَى مِنْكُمْ We are more rightful followers of Musa than you are. We are more deserving of Musa than you are. After then, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instructed the Sahaba to fast on the 10th of Muharram, which is known as the day of Ashura. Ibn Hajjar Asqalani, this great scholar of hadith, he says, that in the early stages of Medina, in the early months of Medina, the fasting of Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, was an obligation. It was prescribed as an obligation upon this Ummah. Then after the legislation and the prescription of the obligation of Ramadan, it was turned into a recommended day. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about fasting this day, encouraging people to observe fast on this day, he said it expiates for the sins of the past year. So Arafah, the 9th of Dhul-Hijjah, 
an expiation for two years. Allahu Akbar. The 10th of Muharram, which is known as Ashura, is an expiation for a whole year, the past year of sins. Who wouldn't want to walk away and to bag such virtues? The believer, when he hears encouraging statements, his heart and his Iman rises and his heart yearns to make the most of it. And this should be the attitude of believers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst them who make the most of it.